Hello YouTube, uh, this video is about an uh, experiment I did uh, while I was fishing. Um, it's uh, rather interesting, so I would like to share with you guys. This was a day, and I uh, started the day uh, with a bunch of short flutes and sea robins. And uh, here's a technique I was using. Um, fishing an inlet um, the technique is uh, pretty simple just uh, get down to the bottom and uh, use the current as your advantage to bounce the uh, sinker and uh, uh, the gulp along the bottom structure the rig I was using just a very simple uh, dropper loop uh, with a 3-0 uh, gamagasu hook a bait holder hook and a piece of gulp and uh, I was switching back from uh, two ounces and three ounces sinker. Uh, nothing fancy there. Um, the reason to switch sinker is uh, to uh, keep that gulp in the strike zone um, and uh, control the uh, um, dead drifting speed uh, of the gulp. So here's the first hookup, um, a short fluke. And uh, after this fish, there were many, many hookups. Um, so I have to fast forward here. Um, what was the sea robin? So a day like this, uh, I kind of get bored uh, hooking up so many fish. So I decided to uh, do some experiment later on. I'll let the video play through. So while I was fishing, I spotted uh, sand fleas or mole crab uh, in, right in the breaking waves on the surf. So I decided to use them as bait. Uh, it's natural bait. Some people even uh, catch them and eat, eat them. I heard they're pretty uh, um, tasty. But uh, here, uh, I just caught one and uh, I'm gonna thread it onto the hook. A lot of people say, oh, you got matched hatch, um, but uh, I don't think uh, you're going to ever see some gulp swimming by or in the surf. So this is a real uh, match the hatch there. Um, it's basically what these fish uh, are feeding on a lot of the times. Um, they're not too picky. Um, I mean, they'll eat pretty much anything that swims. In the water, especially sea robin. So I think to myself, I get, I got in a good chance to uh, get some hookups and uh, to experiment a little bit. Actually, uh, sand fleas cast r really well. Uh, it stays on the hook well. Uh, I can do like a five, six cast without them uh, flew off uh, the hook. And uh, the cast I did here was pretty long cast. Uh, a lot of fish, I hope, was at the end of my cast. Because um, uh, by the main channel, there's a drop off and a lot of uh, pretty interesting uh, bottom structures there. So this was the first hookup and it was a surprise. I set the hook, but uh, it doesn't feel like a fish. It felt like uh, some kind of dead weight or something. So, the same surface. And uh, it was a crab. Not too bad, crab for crab. Can't be that. And it was a blue crab. Um, they're pretty fat too. 
I guess they just started to move in into the back base and uh, uh, spawn there. So I switch back to gulp and uh, you know instantly I started to hook up again. And um, before leaving, I decided to give Sam Flea another try. So I, I found two really big ones and then I put it on to the hook. Cast out. And on the second cast, I hooked up. The sand flea, so it's kind of heavy and it doesn't swim, uh, float in the water. So you have to uh, twitch your rod here and there a little bit. It's a pretty good one. I'm trying to unhook this fish and this fish spits out the crab. So that's what they're feeding on. It's not a sand flea or mole crab, uh, it's a regular uh, rock crab, a uh, smaller one. And uh, this kid decided to come over and he was asking me for the fish. Just trying to show him uh, how to handle the fish properly. Um, so I taught him to grab the lower lip a little bit, and the kid was pretty happy. So the conclusion is um, a chemical bait. Uh, it works better than natural bait, but don't forget about that you can't use the readily available stuff in the surf. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you like my video, please. Uh, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.